previously on From Pencils to Production. The winner of tonight's challenge is Terrence! Great, 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 great job. Adore, you are safe. Jonia, you are also safe. We are not eliminating anybody tonight. Before we go any further, I just want to remind you what you all are competing for. You are competing for a $1,000 cash prize, a fashion spread in Moda Mantra magazine, a six month pro subscription to the digital app Make the Dot, a digital collaborative workspace, and the mentorship with the judges, plus a special mentorship with um, a dear Ray. I love this competition because it forced me to think about more than just the surface level of how I would like to be funded or it, it made it real because I can sometimes it, I can feel like getting money for my business feels so unreal so it definitely made it more real um, and it also gave me more insight as to the things I need to better prepare myself for the future that I set up. Last episode, you all talked about what your signature product or your first product was going to be. Okay, so you're gonna take that and you're gonna talk to us about how you either are currently getting funding, how you're going to get funding um, to produce and promote this item. All right, so I'm going to turn it over to Ruel, who is going to speak to you all about funding. So this week's topic is funding, and it's a peculiar kind of space in that everybody needs it, right? Especially when you're starting up. And it's the thing that you need the most, and at the same time, very often, it's the thing that's hardest to come by. You have creatives, especially in the emerging space, who have great talent, but don't have the resources. And you can have, you can be the greatest designer in the world. And if you don't have the resources to get your ideas out there, get not just the ideas, but get an actual line produced, then it just remains an idea. And sadly to say, um, in this space in particular with emerging designers, and I would go so far as to say in many cases, emerging designers of color in particular, funding and the adequate resources to build your collections and put your ideas out there are very, very hard to come by. Congratulations again to Last Challenge's winner, Terrence. And of course, we were kind of running a little bit late and I didn't get a chance to announce what, your, what you won, which was immunity in this challenge. I wanted to go with the product that I actually sold that has some success. So I went ahead and went with my denim jumpsuit. Um, so it's called the Bang and Body Denim Jumpsuit. Uh, and I wanted to go with this one because it's very, it's very easy for me to push this because it has already been like pushed on a smaller scale. Part of what this this jumpsuit has already done, it's been worn by um, the Claremont twins. Um, it's been worn by Angela Simmons. It is It has really been a staple piece. And when people think about this jumpsuit, or when they think about me, they actually think about this jumpsuit. This is the Tasha jumpsuit. All of the pieces in my first collection that I designed here are actually inspired by the women that I was raised by. Um, so Tasha is my aunt Tasha. And so I wanted to give this jumpsuit 
movement, which is why I did the wide pants. My Aunt Tasha was always in a super fly pantsuit for work as well. So it, all, it felt fitting to do pants. My primary funding source is Arkansas's uh, small, state small business um, credit initiative, asking for a loan of 15K to produce those initial SKUs. It's about 81 SKUs. Um, at a cost of about $75 each to cover materials. All right, so last week, um, with the last challenge, we talked about my upcoming collaboration collection I'm doing with a guy, a famous painter out in Harlem. His name is The Black Rose. So we're doing The Black Rose collection and I talked with him in a few things and we put all his colors together. But, you know, just besides the sewing, besides everything else, we know everything comes with a price, especially in New York, you know, everything is expensive. You know, it's not just about when it comes to print design, it's not about the sewing. It's not just about the sewing. It's not just about the making. It's also about the developing. It's all about also the pricing. How are you going to meet these cues? How are you going to meet these price points? How are you going to afford all these colors? How are you going to afford all the sewing? All right. Great job. Great job. My brand is called Pieces and a little bit of backstory behind my brand is um, a, um, my first job is, is an artist and illustrator. Um, it came from a piece, um, a piece of art that I created that was I was that was inspired by a song by Lettucey called Pieces of Me. And the name just stuck with me and the art that I created was like a woman broken up into different pieces to highlight every aspect of, of the woman that she is. My two funding options, my main funding option is um, I'm funding everything, um, bootstrapping everything. I have great family resources of uh, families who um, own their own salon who offer to allow me to come in and do pop-up shops. My second option for funding is to do like a pre-launch for the customers to come in and buy and buy purchase the items before they are actually available to the mass market. I tried to stick to um, a few of the things that you said about reiterating about my brand and myself in a short little screenshot. So I did highlight that in the beginning. So about Corey Burns, Corey Burns is a luxury deconstructed brand that focuses on diversity and sustainability while aiming for social change through fashion. We believe, or my brand believes in a fair and sustainable future that inspires our community or the community that we're building. Around 2007, I started making wire and plaster clay sculptures and they're actually um, fashion garments. This is where a lot of the sketches and um, a lot of the 3D plaster garments came about. My two plus methods of funding, because I decided to do three and just add the plus sign, how I get funding. So my first method would be, as I mentioned in the previous slide, um, a collaborative community. And then the sales and marketing um, with Firm X will be starting in May. They spend a lot of time on telling us about the brand, which is they need to do, but not so much on not just the sources that they're looking at, but what, how do you intend to apply the money? You have to pay money to get a really cool design. The pattern that is, we're, we're just like, people we just can't, can't wait to have, you know? That's right. what I'm telling that I think, like, she's thinking about, like, right. the pattern is so, you know, and for, for this one, it's, it's all about the pattern, honestly. Or know? the fabric. Now yeah. you're going into tech fabrics, which are better at moisture wicking or heat. Right. Wicking. Exactly. All right. So let's start with who do we think should be the winner? If there's a double elimination, I mean, because Adore didn't, she did pretty well last week, so I don't know how. Well. The only person I think that has really, I think, just been consistently on the lower half has been.
<laughs> so Terrence, um, great job tonight. You have immunity, so you're automatically on to the next challenge. We are going to be eliminating you for this evening. Okay. Ruel or B, do you have any additional feedback that you want to give to Amber before we tell her the result? B, do you want to start? You did a good job, you know? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He was trying to put on the sad face to trick you, but yeah, you you totally are in. And you won tonight. I did. Yes, you did. Oh my god. Which so also much. means it means that you um you have immunity and that automatically means that you are in Point the finale. finale. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god, you guys. Can I just tell you? My birthday is on Monday, so you guys just gave me a gift. Oh, really? A gift. Thank you. Thank you so much. Glad I could give you that you gift. You did a great job. You did a great <laughs> job. Well, yeah, you really did. You really did. You're so good. You set so good. the pace for everyone else this evening. So um, we thought you did a great job, and um, we just had a few concerns here and there. I will say that I am actually glad that you responded because it's maybe changed my mind. Um, so, uh, you are in the competition. You can come back uh, for the next episode. But you are I, you serious? <laughs> yes, I'm very serious. And. Um, I knew I was going home. I don't know what changed her mind. I don't know. She said in that moment, I changed her mind. I don't know what I did. I was for sure I was going home. I'm crying because, you know, this fight in fashion is so, it's a fight. Just being able to be ready in that moment on the spot to, tell the world exactly who I am and what I stand for and I have learned so much of that in this competition because you are required in 40 minutes you need to know who you are and what your plan is and what you're about to do now I am even more grateful and to still be a part of this competition wow that was big part I'm, so of yeah. I'm so glad that she talked yeah, I'm yeah. glad she talked too. Um, I was like, oh, she's going to change her mind. It's, mm -hmm. it's just going to make our, our job harder next week, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Yeah. Everybody just going to have to bring it a thousand percent next week. But... Oh, it's going to have to be like two thousand <laughs> percent. Yeah.